I get this call and it's my office manager. And, and when we finally realized, I will never forget that moment, um, sinking feeling in your stomach. I mean, it's hard to describe. Where we'd been hounding this customer that normally is a very good payer. And she's like, they showed me where they pay. We finally realized that it went to the wrong account. Spear phishing is a pointed attack where it's directed towards somebody or someone. They were able to get into our email, live within our day-to-day -day life. It was hard for me to believe that a company like us and or our size would garner that kind of attention that, that would be worth their time to come after somebody like us, but uh, it is. We're at Cincinnati Crane. We manufacture overhead cranes. So what makes us different than our competitors is the ability to build long span box girder cranes, larger cranes. We have fabricators, welders, electricians, technicians. It's not unusual that one day somebody's in the shop fabricating a crane, and then the next day they're out in the field installing the crane. Being a small business, it's important to have that camaraderie that we've built successfully here with our people, their family, and it shows in everything we do. We were the victims of a cyber attack in late 17, and was a spear phishing campaign. Hackers send you an email. They make you believe that it is real. When that happened, I had no choice but to lay off some people, and that was really hard for us. It's hard for me. We had a great relationship with Texel, and when this happened, we really didn't know, you know where to go or what to do. Texoff is the Southwest Ohio Manufacturing Extension Partnership, which is part of the MEP National Network. We were so glad that Tony called us because that's exactly what we want our manufacturers to feel like. No matter what the issue is, give us a call and let us be part of that solution. I personally don't understand the inclination to not talk about this when it happens to you. We really feel like we've learned a lot from this experience. And if anyone can learn from our mistakes, businesses should educate themselves, hire a cybersecurity expert, encrypt their data, and make longer passwords. Find an MEP, find somebody with the expertise that can help you firm up your defenses in cybersecurity. This is no longer something that you can opt to do. This is a part of doing business today. And unfortunately, I don't see that changing. We were one company that had an exposure I can think off the top of my head of over a hundred companies that were affected by our cyber attack. Manufacturing is the backbone of the American economy. And so small businesses like ours fuel that system. What we do is important. It's important to manufacturing, it's important to other companies, and we're helping them be successful. We've finally just started to make the turn from this burden. We've been through a challenging time. We've made our way through it, and we're excited about the future. We've put that behind us. We're stronger because of it. We're ready to get back to business.